Hello beautiful people, like, share and subscribe. So you've seen the title, Nigeria, uh, nation of, a nation of bullies. You know, bull young and old. Everybody wants to just bully everybody. Anyway, let me give you a background of this story. By the way, there's a video trending. I don't want to show the video uh, because of uh, YouTube uh, violations. Uh, so, uh, member of House of Rep, representing Aba North and South, Alexandra Mascot, uh, Ikwechek, or whatever his name is, assaulted a boat driver demanding payment after delivering service uh, so basically uh, this boat driver um, uh, got there i think delivery guy got there and asked the uh, politician to come and collect his delivery downstairs and the politician according to the uh, boat driver started traumatizing this guy and he's a young person tomorrow now this one will come out and say he wants to become president are you seeing it that's why I tell people that it's not by all this uh, too young to rule. In Nigeria, everybody is just oppressive because the system has allowed it for years. That's why me, I'm an advocate, of, I'm against jungle justice, no matter what somebody does. Burning people, whether for religious reading, whether he stole food, whether he stole, he killed people. Put them in, let the system work. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, this politician came and started assaulting this guy just because the guy said he should come and collect his delivery. Do you understand? The guy, according to this guy, he said he slapped him or thereabout. Are you not seeing that this country is, 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 is in tatters? The young people behaving anyhow. The young people behaving anyhow. Look at the other day, Potable was beating somebody. You will see in Nigeria is one of the few countries. Tenants maybe will be owing landlord. Landlord will just come, start removing his goods uh, from, from the house. All those things are wrong. Follow the system, the law. There's a system it's because now nobody even believes the judiciary because it's a criminal organization. The judiciary have been captured, but it has always been a criminal organization. They don't judge things well. The law in Nigeria doesn't work for the ordinary man. It's a criminal society. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm let the country just is a messed up system. Look at the young man. Just because the guy says you should come and collect your delivery, started getting angry. Now, I'm reading somewhere, they are saying uh, Seyi Tinibu, they are touting him for Lagos State Government. I read the comment and see people saying Seyi Tinibu uh, is a good guy. I just say this country, these Nigerians are very stupid. That's why I still maintain. You see how people supporting evil government, stop helping them. Stop paying. Even if you must help them, you must give them reason why you are helping them. You must uh, educate them on how their stupidity affects you. This stupidity that is happening of people that support the APC is not affecting everybody now. And now, you, if you see the APC people, you know somebody voted APC, he's boasting about uh, Ebola medicine. You will see him, you will scream that he's hungry, you will carry money, you will be dashing him. Even if you must give him money, you must tell him that his support is affecting everybody, that you, the, the country the, that this man is governing, is affecting everybody. Even if it's P2B that is there, you must educate him. Especially when the uh, destruction of the country looks intentional. Because you cannot tell me that it's sensible that you'll be building coastal road, wasting money up and down, and your internal roads, electricity is in comatose. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now they are starting to say it because the Itinibu used to share rice. They now say he's a good man. The same system Itinibu was doing too. What was Itinibu doing? You carry all those Yoruba trees that they need a, me a medical issue, carry them to Europe and treat Instead of building a hospital that will um, 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 fit the whole Lagosians or, where, or Shun or wherever it's from. Instead of doing that, doing a grant for Yoruba people, doing subsidies and all those things, they will not do it. They just select one or two from the money they, they got illegally and everything. They will do small uh, sprinkling and you will now say, ah, this is a good man because many of you don't have sense. Like many of you are cost. Cost. That's why me, I don't believe in this uh, too young to rule. Oh. All this, uh, yo, I don't believe it. I believe it's integri your integrity is important. And let me tell you, Tomo Sankara, let me give you an example of people that I feel like will be a good people. Tomo Sankara was a young man and he was doing well. What of Mangufuli from Tanzania? The day he died, the president of Tanzania, people were crying. He was an old man. What of you of Singapore? The man that changed Singapore. He was old. What of China? Before Xi Jinping, this one that is doing well for China. There were one other president. There was a president and the president before him. I forgot the guy's name. In fact, it was three people that said improving China. That uh, no, sorry, two people before Xi Jinping. There was one guy that really worked hard. That uh, brought brought the Shenzhen free trade zone and the rest. That guy was a very old man. 
but he was capable, he was strong. It's not you can be old and be strong. If you're older, you're having health issues, you should not contest for power. Because the situation there is going to overwhelm you. So I don't believe in this too young to old or too young to rule or too young to rule or whatever. You understand? To me, it's integrity of the person that is important and his sanity. If his sanity is clear and he has integrity, it's good to go. Look at this young man now. When you see him, he wants to, everybody wants to bully. When they don't have police escort, police gun. In fact, the guy was saying, call the IGP, record me. They don't care. You understand? Look at the... By the way, I wanted to do a video of these Northern Senators. Those people, I think something is wrong with their head. That we're saying they should bring Sharia. These are old people too. That's why I tell you the foolishness is not for only young, it's for old. And the country, do you know not, have not had electricity for two weeks. The whole Northern Nigeria. And instead of them to be clamoring of that, they are clamoring of something that will, electricity that will engender production. They are clamoring for Sharia law. And it's the edu uneducated that they are targeting. Because those ones, they don't have sense. Yeah. Some people see this whole support of politics as video game. At the end of the video game, will put hunger in your stomach. Everybody will get sense and they will learn the hard way. Look at the young man now. Yeah. How, can, how can the country be good? That about me, I don't believe in this. Uh, it's too old to run or too young. Let the person have capacity. Let him have integrity. Let him be strong. Yeah, so old people that are strong, you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Let the person have vigor. During the election, Tinibu was falling in the house and I still go vote on. They expect miracle. Ah. You'll be like, you just carry my father and I say, let, let him be president of Nigeria. Nigeria will collapse. My father is a good man, but the country will collapse. Because my father doesn't have the energy. How many places you want to think? Uh, they the key for here. Uh, the roads, you know, how many? Time when you go there, when you go the rest with the children. Now you want to say, everybody must learn. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.